Yeah. When we talk about a legendary brand, we really say there are two engines. There's your customer experience engine. Your customers have to be wowed and feel seen and valued and all the stuff we just talked about. But the other engine is an employee engagement engine. You have to find, develop, and keep great people who feel like they're on a mission together and doing all the with their people and community. And so, so these two engines come together and we say that they're parallel, right? There's a, you're going to see there's a pattern to them, some fundamental human things. Now the, the tactics are very different, but the themes underneath them are very similar. And I like to say they're parallel the way the two strands of a DNA, uh, double stranded helix are parallel, right? They, they intertwine back and forth. Mm -hmm. And this creates the DNA of a legendary brand. You, you get great people who blow your customer's mind, you become a legendary brand. All the rest is tactics and tools. These are the driving forces of legendary companies. So, so in the employee engine, you might notice some parallels, right? Like employee insight is the fuel that drives the engine. Do you really know your employees or do you just know their job and their paychecks, right? How much do you know them as humans and what drives them and what do they want? And then you, the last year in this, uh, maybe the parallel to memorable moments is what we call bigger purpose. And you need to have a sense that what I'm doing matters and is more than just the task. And you got to connect the dots, even for folks who, one of my great examples of this, um, in the 60s, when they were, the NASA, uh, the Space Administration was trying to put a man on the moon, uh, President Kennedy visited NASA and was talking around and meeting people. And he ran across a guy and he said, well, sir, what do you do? And, and the guy actually was a janitor, right? He was mopping the floor. And the guy didn't say, I clean floors or clean bathrooms. He said, sir, I'm helping put a man on the moon. See, I've got to keep these facilities clean. So these guys have a good experience and they don't have to worry about where they're going to go to the bathroom or slipping on the floor so that they can put all their effort into the math that puts us up. The guy isn't cleaning a toilet. He's putting a man on the moon. So so there's a sense, hey, maybe, maybe you are janitorial services, but man, what are you doing to set the companies up you serve? And so- so this, and then of course, wrapped around all this is what I call servant leadership. Um, it, the healthy leadership team on the customer side, we need to think about us as a group. Servant leadership is a little more narrow focused from the manager to their direct soup reports. But it's this idea, are you leading to make yourself feel better? Or are you leading to make them better? And um, I think great leaders spend their time and effort setting their teams up for success. And so, so again, very similar themes because there's some fundamental human dynamics that show up, but the tactics are totally different. Um, how you get to know your employees is different than customers. How you create the connection to the bigger purpose is different than a customer memorable moment, but but there's some similar stuff. If you get great people who serve your customers in an amazing way, well, gosh, you become a legendary brand. Um, that's just mm. how it works.